Good day viewers, welcome back to our channel. Um, this is a second uh, repair video of on this truck. It's a 2018 uh, Lincoln Navigator. The first one was on uh, programming and uh, uh, calibrating and aligning the uh, radar. Um, it's a really interesting video. I used the FDRS for the first time on it. I am also using FDRS. Uh, I just, as I mentioned in the first video, I just decided to uh, split the issues since they are separate. So right now we are dealing with... This one, parking aid malfunction. And you get the message only when you put the car on drive. So when I'm driving right now, it's supposed to give me warning that I'm getting close. But it doesn't. Same thing with the reverse. I clean the roof. How do I look? Which one? That's it. That's it. Nice. I cleaned it. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend Jimmy. So, yeah, that parking aid. Let's do park and let's scan it. See, actually, we did scan it, but let's clear and reset with the key on. Clear and reset. So, okay. All right, here. Parking, I think this is parking eight module. Bam. Left front side sensor, no signal. Right front, right front outer sensor, right. So basically, I think all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, six sensors. Now, I did mention the history of the vehicle in the first uh, episode car had a hit slight hit on the front on this side so bumper and everything belongs to it is new including these sensors uh, let's go new from the dealer one two three four five six six sensors let's go look at the um, the code see what service information says about it Okay, so those are the codes B129C, B129D, B1, B36, and B1, B38, B1, B40, B1, B42. Uh, see all of them, subcodes 31, 2A. 31 says no signal, 2A current DT, okay, so it's right now happening. We're going to address one of them, and what applies to one applies to all. I'm pretty sure the same self-test. The same, uh, I mean, uh, circuit test or anything we we're going to do here. So I looked it up, and B129C, 31 right here. Left front side sensor, no signal, go to pinpoint test A. So on test A, ignition use diagnose scan tool okay self test check but okay we did all that already yes go to two diagnose trouble code c 081 f 31 that's ours go to a3 for all other go to a2 so a2 doesn't apply to us a3 right here ignition okay so we have to have access to the sensors uh, Okay, I'm gonna tell them to open the bumper. So I'm switching to this sensor, left front outer sensor description, which again, the same thing. The only thing is gonna be different, probably the colors of the wires on that uh, sensor pigtail. B1, B4, the one, go to test G. It's gonna be the same thing if you have this, if you have that, go to G3. Ignition disconnect left front outer parking. A sensor measure. 
voltage ignition on measure of voltage between pin one and ground let's do this the reason why i switched because this left outer which i think it is uh easy to access to from here and i chose the left not the right because that inline connector right here for the front bumper so if i want to test any other sensors i can do it here but i don't think it's the sensors again i don't think it's the sensors because all of them have the same code okay i'm using the power pro because i'm filming all the time this is nothing but a dvom so we're going to check with the key on put the key on we're going to check voltage at pin number one which should be this right here it doesn't say color but pin number one should be this one the purple and gray okay is the voltage greater than 9.5 volt no it's not it's 1.4 repair the circuit okay we are going to repair the circuit but for now let's check the other ones so it should be power ground and a signal which one is the ground the ground is No, pin number three. So, pin number three is this. We have a ground, and the middle one should be the, the middle one should be the signal. Now, let me open the uh, parking aid uh, schematic to make sure that this is accurate. All right, this is how it's designed. It is designed that each sensor gets a power and ground from guess what body control module so the body control module is the one that turned these sensors on and it will receive signal back now what do we have here uh, both uh, wires are going to be the same color on all sensors except the one in the middle which is the signal uh, what do we have here violet gray what is that look like a blue and red do we have a blue and red violet gray <laughs> sorry it's a uh, this is the color for it, right here. Blue orange, look at front, outer, working aid sensor, right hand, right hand, left hand, front inner, front outer. Let's see the other one. Which one is ours? This is four though. Should be six. Without automatic parking aid. Uh, let me find the width. All right, so this is if it has active parking assist It has two more sensors on the left and on the right. This is our guy. It's a gray and orange Okay, our issue is with this uh, Violet and gray this should have 12 volts I mean above 9.5 and now we have 1.45 uh, why why is that um, could it be here let me release this bring it closer to us to test it so this is see it says 22 23 24 25 26 27 that purple and gray which is here pin 27 on this connector there's two inline connector between the sensors and PAM parking eight module so if you didn't have parking assist you, they would be powered by the body control module but in this case no we have a PAM and we saw the PAM actually when we did a scan to the vehicle now we have to locate the PAM 
and see if it is providing 9.5 and up voltage here so the car battery is dead and my phone battery is dead i'm using my other phone so if you see a better quality video that's why uh, i am getting a new phone soon to use for rec better recording now this is the location for the parking active parking assist module two connectors this is the pin actually it was held by these plastic um, screws whatever tabs so this is our guy i'm just waiting for a jump box to come so we can do our check so that ground that we saw over there or whatever that might be wrong because uh, uh the battery is dead okay so once i put the jump box what i get it's that pin number two you see it pin number two which is right here it says violet gray control module parking aid uh sensors front plus which is right here this is the nano e i found it actually this is the now we have battery voltage is going let's go to the connector over there and check see if we have same voltage make sure key on okay and let's check that pin it was pin 27 I need two hands okay we have nothing here Ah, I'm on my wrong one. No, yeah, I am on the wrong one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six one from the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. We have nothing. So we have an open between this harness and the module over there. And the first place I'm going to look is here. Although the hit was on the other side. Yeah, that's the one, 27, this is 22, 27 right here. Let me pierce into the wire, see what happened. Nothing. Okay, let's trace that uh, open circuit. I just noticed something here. Something is going on and this tape is not OEM. Definitely not OEM. Something is going on here. I mean, I would assume that the wire come with the big harness and come here. There is another connector, line connector, that should be between them. Which is this one, C265. Is the connector two six five. passenger okay so so the harness coming from that way but mm, passenger kick panel navigator passenger
Just exposed right here. So what, the wiring come in this way and then come into the left side uh, from under the front seats. Um, if this is the case, yeah, there is a... There's a big chance that it is one of these here. All right, let me do a visual inspection here. Dude, that was lucky. Oh my God, Hello? I was talking to the owner and telling him if they did something here, he said no. Thanks. And I told him that gotta be something here. So I lifted this up <laughs> and look what I saw. I suspected something because I see, see how the insulation here is. Like the whole thing sitting like that is not virgin is not OEM so I figured something happened here and look what it is look at that this is our guy that's good I'm gonna repair these wires and they might fix some other issue here you'll never know all right this is what I used and I am done this is our guy and I fixed five other ones and discussing it again with the owner he said well I think it's from the, the door door damage I was like what door damage I thought you told me only passenger front he said no this door was damaged so yeah definitely a hundred percent from the door being pushed in that's what happened that's why it's, it's really important to get the whole story everything every small detail will matter will help you connect the dots now let's check we should have voltage in this pin you never know we probably fixed the other issue which was the something in the abs there's a code in the abs so now, let's go, put the key on, key on, and a little push, that's what I want to see here, I am going to put everything back in and go to the scanner. Alright, so the key is on, we're back on the laptop. Let's do clear and retest. When you leave it for a long time, this will be red. So all you have to do is click on it and then connect your VCI one more time. Right there. Orange or green, orange or green. Okay, I have to relaunch again, I think. Retry. Hey, green! <laughs> Everything passed. So now, start the truck. Let's go drive. Everything fixed. How close I am? Can you tell me? This much. It should detect now. Yeah. Yeah, now detecting. Here we go. Now it's working. All right. That is the uh, second fix on this vehicle. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And stay around for one more issue with this car, which is the ABS and possibly the rear differential. I'm not sure, but there is a code in, in each one of them. So stay tuned.